I want to share an allegory from Carl Jung. Carl Jung said that a woman can fall in love with even short, fat, and ugly guy. How? And he, this is his allegory. So there's a queen, she has an assistant, and every morning she wakes up and her assistant brushes her hair, and one day she gets this bouquet. She looks at bouquet with a notebook and assistant brings it to her, and she looks and she's like, what a beautiful flower. She looks at the notebook and she said, beautiful queen, have a lovely day. A gardener, let's call him John. A gardener, John. She's like, John, gardener, she looks at the window, the ugly, short, fat guy, gardener, she throws away the flowers. The next day, she wakes up a prettier flower with a note. And it says, a beautiful queen, have even better day. And the beautiful flowers are here for you. She opens up again, this ugly gardener. Okay, put it in the flower, put it in the corner over there. The third day, the fourth day, on the fifth day, she's like, okay, what kind of flowers did he send me this time? A month later, she wakes up, asks assistant, so where is my flowers? What kind of flowers did John send me? Like, he did not send you flowers. He didn't send, opens the window and says, hey, John, where's my flowers? He looks at her and he says, well, my queen, you'll have to come down today because I have a special surprise for you. She's like, all right, I guess I have to come down. <laughs> she comes down, she's like, okay, where's my flowers? She's like, well, we have to walk in the alley and I'll get you the beautiful special flowers. So as they're walking, the gardener, John, or Don Juan, however we want to call him, right, <laughs> is asking her questions. So, my queen, what are your favorite flowers? And she shares. What are your favorite colors? And she shares. What do you like to do in the mornings? And she shares. And what do you like to eat for lunch? And she shares. And at the end, they come to the end of the alley, and he gives her these beautiful roses. She picks it up, and then they're going home, back to her castle, and he shares, asks her more questions. And what are you gonna do this evening? And she shares. And what are you gonna eat for dinner? And she shares. And when, what is, what is your favorite horse? And what is your horse's name? And she shares. And the next morning, she looks at their assistant and she says, you know what, today, I'm just gonna go downstairs and walk in the alley with Gardner John. And two months later, she says, you know what, the assistant, I am not interested to meet any guys anymore because who will get me as well as a John Gardner? Do you guys get it? And John, did not even talk to her. What was John doing? Asking questions and listening to her. Do you guys get it? Even John, gardener, could make a queen fall in love with him, which says any guy has a chance to make any woman fall in love if he can just ask questions and listen. <laughs> and by the way, that's the biggest mistake that, we, what that guys make. When they go on the first date, what do they do? Yes, <laughs> yes. And do women like that? No. No. I'll tell you actually examples. So nine or 10 years ago, I can't remember exactly, um, I had a really wealthy millionaire from Russia who called me. He was a referral, but it doesn't matter. He calls me and he says, Alisa, I was uh, on a date with a model two weeks ago. I gave her my number. We had a great dinner and she did not call me. Well, he was 59, she was 28, but it never stops Russian models to date a 30 or 40 year old man because he's almost an oligarch multimillionaire. So he's like, I'm so smart, I'm so successful, why she's not calling me? I said, okay, okay, slow down, slow down. Can you share with me what actually happened on the date? 
step by step. And this is what he shared. He's like, well, I ordered her food. She was sitting in front of me, gorgeous, you know, uh, and I was looking at her and then I start sharing with her how much timber I am closing the deal with South Koreans and Japan and how many tons of this timber I'll be shipping and how I take them to, to karaoke and how much we were singing and partying and drinking and how many women were entertaining us. I was telling her all about my amazing rich life. And then I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that's a problem. And I told, I told my client, I said, no, from now on, when you're going to go on a date, you're going to do what? Ask questions. Ask questions and what? Listening. Listening. Because when a guy goes on a date and talks a lot, a girl comes home and you know what she thinks? What an idiot. <laughs> because she really wanted to talk about herself. If she's not connected to timber and how he's gonna ship this timber, she's not interested. Do you guys get it? <laughs> uh, any questions?